I assume we're not getting out of this Ohio State summer shoot around series without talking Bronny James, right? He did uh, visit over the weekend. He was there for the Notre Dame game. There was a uh, Bronny James chance uh, at the Ohio State Notre Dame game, I gather. And so it comes at the same time. They, they, they lost a, a commitment this weekend as well. Uh, George Washington, the third GW, the third, the father of our country. There's only one place where this player can now go. He's got to go to GW. What if your if your name is George Washington, you might third. not want to, you might not want to. How about you go there and become a legend young man? Dude, how could you not go to GW if your name is George Washington the third? By the way, how do you even get named George Washington the third? I mean, obviously your your dad. <laughs> well, we know was, how it happened. Your George was George Washington. Your dad's George Washington the second, and then and then your grandfather is the father of I our gotta, country. I gotta, I gotta know the. I gotta see the family etymology here. I gotta know <laughs> what's going on. His grandfather. What if he was, what if he was George Washington like the thirteenth and was actually <laughs> descendant? Like Aegon. Oh There's my so gosh. many Aegons. There's so many Aegons. Anyway, they lose you. They, they lose. Uh, my understanding, uh, in kind of sniffing around the recruiting circles, is he's actually not considered, uh, maybe like a Big Ten level player at this. Yeah, stage. he's not. He's not Abraham Lincoln the third. He's not. He's not. He's, he's not John John F. Kennedy the third. He, he's not honest, Dave. Um. So, uh, with that, and you know, but with that decommitment in line with Bronny James, you know, being there, it's people are going to presume stuff. I'm not going to presume any of that, by the way. Um, I, I don't know if Bronny, Bronny James is going to go play college basketball. We are going to have that. Uh, but two things for me on Bronny one don't, I don't think you should anticipate a Bronny James college commitment until the spring. That's just my read on it. Uh, and two, LeBron James does love Ohio state. Uh, I know he's connected in a significant way to like the most powerful boosters at that university, which obviously makes sense. Um, but I don't know if Ohio state's the favorite. I mean, I put Ohio state at like, I don't know, 25, 30% to eventually land Bronny James. There's a long way to go in this recruitment, but this was his first. The reason why this is a big deal was football game, Notre Dame season opener. And it's his first college visit. LeBron James never did this. So for, I think for the family, for Bronny, for LeBron himself, I think it was actually a really big deal. Important deal. It was important to LeBron personally, as someone who grew up in Akron with Ohio state being the, the university that he rooted for, for this one to be the first one. I don't think it necessarily indicates that Ohio state is the front runner or anything like that. Not to say he won't eventually go there, um, I'm not even convinced, and we're not going to slip down the Bronny conversation. I'm not even convinced that Bronny James, as a freshman, will be good enough to that, start as a Big Ten player. That's, as that's a freshman. the problem. So, the so problem. there's also that. But you know, the, the, he is uh, he is involved at Ohio State and looking at other places, USC, Oregon, among some others, and Memphis obviously is in there. And so th- there's there's a lot more to go in the Bronny James recruitment. But we just it's pure coincidence we are talking about the Bucks as they're coming off having Bronny James and others, by the way, on they had like three or four of the people, I think, there for um, for a visit there. I'm sure I, I haven't talked to Holtman about this in depth, but I'm sure it was actually insane for him and that staff to have to do like they were because there's that kind of game, as you all know, GP, like you get a huge football game. That's the game where it's not just like, OK, let's get our one recruit. And it's like all the recruits that are involved, either signed or unsigned, committed or uncommitted. They want to go there, experience that. And so you've got to cater to like no, in normal circumstances, two or three notable recruits in their families throw in LeBron James. I'm sure it was, uh, I'm sure it's quite an experience for, uh, for that coaching staff and probably, you know, probably good for recruiting as well. But I don't, I don't recall seeing like it might have happened, but I wasn't like dialed into every second. But like, I don't recall seeing like Holtman like on the sidelines with LeBron. Like some coaches might be insistent on doing that, like the photo op kind of deal. I don't think Holtman was all was all about that. So uh, anyway, it's, it'll be interesting to see where this goes with them on the Ohio State front. Yeah, I talked about this on a recent episode of the Island College Basketball Podcast with um, David Cobb. I have an possible un, unpopular opinion about the Bronny James recruitment. I'm not saying I wouldn't recruit him. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I would be hesitant to recruit him at, at the Ohio State level because I think you're right. It's not clear he's a he's a he's a freshman impactful player at the big 10 level. And if he's not, it's a problem. You know, he, he, this, this is not Bronny James is ranked fourth in the class of 2023. He's not DJ Wagner. Um, he's a borderline top 50 guy, according to most 
you know, recruiting analysts. And those types types of guys don't often have major impacts at good slash great Big Ten programs. And so if you bring him in and he's just a normal, forget his name for a second. He's just a normal borderline top 50 guy at a place like Ohio State. He's probably a role player for you. And then if you try to force play him and make him something more than that, you got locker room problems. And if you don't play him, well, then, you know, they're leading uh, get up on a Wednesday morning. Bronny James played 11 minutes last night for Ohio State. And Stephen A. Smith is like, did Bronny James make the right decision to go to Ohio State? That's a, actually, thing. Yeah. That's a thing. I actually That's don't like it for Bronny at all. Like he wants to play, he likes basketball. He wants to play basketball. That's great and all that stuff. A lot of the stuff is out of his control. But I don't like this idea that you could be setting him up for a lot of unwarranted, unneeded public backlash. Like he's going to be as good as he's going to be. And I'm pretty sure LeBron James is determined to get his son to the NBA. But as, at a certain point, like you're as good as you are. You are as good as you are. And so, some of the stuff that might fall on Bronny, um, I don't know. It's not it's not the healthiest thing. I hope he gets to a place where he's capable enough of playing at that level and he's good enough and we're not, you know, square peg round holing this situation and he can find a spot where he wants to play and he uh, and there's an, an actual, you know, natural fit. Whether that's Ohio State or not, I don't know. But that was his first visit. Like if 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 Bruce Thornton plays, uh, you know, is, is is seventh in minutes played at Ohio State this season. I don't think he'll be, by the way, I think he's going to be a starter. But like if Bruce Thornton is seventh in minutes played, nobody cares other than Bruce Thornton's family, maybe. But if Bronny James is averaging 14 minutes a game at Ohio State as a freshman or UCLA as a freshman, USC as a freshman, Memphis as a freshman, it's it's something people are talking about. Now, now what you and I will do is come on here and say, guys, what did you expect? He was ranked 52nd in his high school class. Guys like that sometimes make big impacts at big programs as freshmen, but not often. You wouldn't bet on it. So, like, what did you expect? But that ain't going to stop you know, people from getting on TV uh, on a Thursday morning asking big questions. Should Bronny James transfer? Did LeBron James make a mistake letting his son go to school here? Is Bronny James really going to enter the draft after scoring six points a game at wherever? Like that, that is going to happen, and that's not going to be the easiest thing to deal with. Again, I'm not saying I would not recruit him. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying if you're – Mick Cronin, Andy Infield, Chris Holtman, Penny Hardaway, you have to recognize this ain't this ain't normal. What you're what you're bringing in is not a normal thing. And they're all smart enough to recognize. They know it. I'm not telling these guys anything they don't know. But you 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 got to realize that if you take a, a, a guy ranked exactly where Bronny James is ranked and and make him just a role player as a freshman. But his name's not Bronny James. It's it, it, that is the expected outcome. Nobody blinks. You do that with Bronny James, and it's going to be literally a national story. People will be talking about it. Yep, and I wouldn't expect any – I mean, anything can change, I guess. But I, I just think given that who he is and LeBron, they're going to want to wait to see how rosters shake out, transfer stuff. I, I, I don't think Bronny James is going to commit to a college before we get to at least April. Personally. I hope they do the decision part two. <laughs> I, don't Bronny think James. Do that. I don't think they're going to do that either. That would be hilarious. If he, set, if he got – who conducted that interview – that was uh, Jim Gray. Bring Jim Gray in. Yeah, yeah. I you mean, wanna, do the whole let thing. The entire sports internet and television industry on fire. To the, yeah. Bring Jim Gray in to interview Bronny James about where he's taking his talents. Have him wear the same outfit LeBron did. Exact the same outfit. Get Donovan Mitchell in the stands like he was. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell, is, you know, at the time he was like 16 years old. Put Donovan Mitchell in the stands. Donovan Mitchell, yeah, get him back there to watch the whole thing. Yeah. Be perfect. Yeah.